This endangered species is the short-eared owl. It's a medium-sized owl with a rounded head and tiny ear tufts that are difficult to see. It is heavily streaked overall with dark eye patches and a whitish face. In flight, look for the barred wing tips. It hunts during daylight, flying low over short vegetation. And its wing beats are described as moth-like. And they are roughly the size of a crow. This owl has disappeared from many southern areas where it formerly nested. Loss of habitat is probably the main cause. It lives in prairies, marshes, dunes, and tundra. Likes to be in open country that support a high number of small rodents for it to eat. It nests commonly on tundra, inland, and coastal prairies, extensive marshes, and farmland. In the wintertime, it's also found in stubble fields, small meadows, coastal dunes, and shrubby areas. When they procreate, the male brings food for the young and gives it to the female who feeds it to the young. If a nest is threatened, adults may fly at an intruder and make loud wing claps or sit on the ground with its feathers ruffled up, wings spread and tilted forward to look as large as possible. The young may leave the nest on foot after 12 to 18 days and can fly at 27 to 36 days. Owls make a lot more than hoot sounds. They also bark and scream. They have an alarm call when something mirrors their nest, and they also make a squealing and snapping sound with their bills. I found a site that contains samples of all of these sounds. I will post that link in my Endangered Species blog post on my website. If you'd like to learn more about the short-eared owl, visit Elgin Public Museum or check out my website, heatherdoorscreations.com, and push that endangered species button. And as always, thanks for watching.